Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpios mini energy, energy love pool. Uh, how are you doing today, Scorpios? I hope this video finds you guys vibing highly in this Scorpio season, Scorpio energy. Um, have you noticed the beautiful energy? Uh, it's, 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 even though it's cold, it's still got a snuggle energy. I feel snuggle energy around you, Scorpios, now. Um, Scorpios, it may be in season to get you a big dude or a big girl. Uh, you know, big girls and big boys are in uh, high demand around this time here. So uh, shout out to the big thick ones here. We need big thick because I feel like I'm a big thick one too. So I'm just saying. Uh, so if, if, if you had felt like it was a drought in the summertime, this is going to be the big folks season. <laughs> It's going to be the thick, uh, now is officially the thick folk season, okay? So all you skinny girls know, I, ain't, I love you all. I'm just saying y'all can have the summer times, but now it's the, it's big gas over here. <laughs> that's what they're going to be looking for. I'm, I'm just saying, as I'm saying, the energy is going to be want to be hugged all up under a thick one, okay? Because everybody trying to stay warm <laughs> and save on the gas. <laughs> so, hey, Scorpio, let's tap into your energy and see what you have here. Like, I feel like... Thank you guys so much for your support, Scorpio. Thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, your high vibrational energy, your high vibrational comments, your beautiful hearts, your beautiful Scorpios, your beautiful Scorpio energy. Thank you. Shout out to you, Scorpio. So let's see. Let's see if Scorpio about to be booed up here, huh? You about to be booed up, Scorpio. Are you ready? Are you about to be <laughs> uh, roasting uh, marshmallows in an open fireplace here? Uh, ro uh, what they say? Chestnuts roasting on a fireplace. Oh, on a fire. <laughs> My bad. Chestnuts roasting on the fire. Yeah, because I used to hear that over and 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 over, 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 over again. Y'all know when that time of the year come, you're going to hear the same old music. Oh, Scorpios, but I like to listen to the old school music uh, when it's this time of the year. I'm not going to say the holiday. I'm just going to say this is the fall time of, of, of year. Um, when you take those things out of the equation, like, you know, looking at the holidays or whatever, and just really look at the energy, this is really a good time to harvest and manifest here. At least start planting your seeds now. So however you would like your life, however you view your life, Moving forward is now was the time to start planting those seeds, Scorpios, whether it's in whatever, because I got a lot of things that, that I want to manifest, like smoking cigarettes. And I know and I don't need to, you know, I already know about that, too. But still, so is a man thicker than his heart. So is he. I'm getting stronger and stronger every day because I'm not nowhere like I used to. But I'm making a conscious decision. But I know I had to start from somewhere. So whatever it is, you know, we always feel like we have to wait for a New Year's resolution. It doesn't take that. It takes right now. All it takes is just for you to take the step, whatever it is. And I ain't trying to get on here and act hard and act like I know it all. No, I'm human. I got some experience that maybe I can help you with. Got to stand up because I started getting busy. <clears throat> all right, let's see. I had to go out today and uh, get, get my cleaners out. And it was so cold out there. And just, it just seems like, and I had to look at the, <laughs> I had to look at the data and say, is this Monday? <laughs> It just seems like it was so many people just hustling and bustling. You would have thought that it was a holiday. And maybe it is. Maybe that's what everybody's doing. Everybody's hustling around to get their, their costumes and all those things like that. So I don't know. I'm not really into that. I'm not even really trying to dress up or nothing like that. And then again, I may. I just have to see how I feel. Right now, I'm just cold. I'm trying to keep from just running the heat. Uh, but at the same time, I know that I need it. So because I'm trying to see is, is the weather. I'm trying to see is the weather is... is Cause I know it's like 50 today. I think our highs today is 50. I'm talking about just going from 80 to just 50. So if it's gonna stay 50, I'm just trying to figure out: is it is it really here, or is this just one of those up and down things? I'm, I'm just saying, give me an idea of what to work with. What do I wear? <laughs> Am I gonna have to start wearing socks? Cause you know I be wearing flip flops out. <laughs> So it's just like, we, and then just remember, we're going to set the time back too. remember, because we're going to fall back. So now we're going to add, we're going to gain extra daylight, I believe. So it's going to start getting dark really, really early. We're going to swear it's late. <laughs> we got to, we, we got to get, uh, we got to get our energy prepared for that. All right. So let's see. All right. Spirit, what's going on for Scorpios? I appreciate you guys so much for stopping by here. Eight of Swords energy here. Maybe you guys, some of you guys maybe be dealing with something mentally. Uh, you know, you know, whatever you give your energy to, 
that is the thing that's going to be the most powerful thing here. And you could be dealing with somebody here who is incarcerated here. Maybe they're about to be released. Maybe somebody's about to uh, have some type of early release <laughs> for somebody. <laughs> Y'all remember baby boy when he just showed up? You may have somebody <laughs> just showing up to your doorstep, baby, you know? I feel like you freed yourself, Scorpio. I feel like you're slowly free, freeing yourself from a mental situation here. You could... Um, you could be you could be no longer you could be learning to no longer blame yourself and be so hard on yourself because, you know, sometimes when we do things because that's what we do. I mean, that's, that, that's just, there's really no such thing as a right way or a wrong way. We just do things because that's what we're supposed to do. And usually that's how you're going to learn. So if you're being harder on yourself than you should be, then don't do that. You're not a mistake. You know, you, you made a choice. We ain't going to even say you made a mistake. You made a choice. And depending on whatever choice you make, you're going to get the results. But see, I feel like some healing is taking place with the star card. I feel like you guys still are very, very strong and resilient because you're holding out hopes. That, see, and this could be them too. You got the three of cups. But I'm just making sure if this is you feeling stuck mentally, you know that you're going to be freed. Your own energy is going to free you. Isn't that amazing here? It's like you don't even have to go. You don't have to ask nobody for no help. All you're going to do is just tap into that beautiful, amazing Scorpio energy, and you're going to heal your M and F and self with the star card, Scorpios. And then where you was once upon a time, you were stuck in your head, uh, listening to the BS of life that keeps you from going out there and shaking your tail feather, because this is high vibrational energy. This can move mountains, but this keeps you stuck. See that just, just wallowing in your emotions here? No, you got to let that go. Release it. And I feel like this is what's happening with the tower in reverse. Now, for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here and that's them. You're dealing with this person here all in their feelings because they in love. Look at that. You got the emperor and the freaking king of cups in reverse because I'm going to take reverse today. OK, so it seems like me, if you were stuck on a situation, I feel like you found the strength to move on. And I feel like now you're you're, you're healing uh, you're healing. And, you know, when you start healing, then you start manifesting your desires and your wishes, because with the star card, it also represents your wishes being fulfilled. You're releasing you're releasing the burdens. You, you're getting out your goddamn head and you take an action or because, you know, you, you take actions first and your thoughts. You got to start thinking positive. You know, that's how your situation changed. But you could be dealing with your baby's dad here. You could be dealing with the father figure here with this Emperor Aries energy. But this person here, they're in their feelings. They're emotional about you because maybe you didn't took back your maybe you didn't took back your energy. It's like somebody's like, what am I going to do now? It's boring. Somebody say that it's somebody say it's so dry when you are not around. They say it's too dry when you're not around. They don't like this. They say it's dry. See, you see him. That, that's because they probably think that they all bad here. See, this is somebody here who probably didn't have known excitement until they met you. You bring a level of excitement and emotional fulfillment and happiness around whoever this person is with this three of cups, this emperor and the uh, king of cups here. Look at it. They go to the ten of pentacles. Y'all been sipping. Don't come for me. I'm grown. It's my birthday. God dang it. I tell you what, <laughs> Mary Jane, you got an Aries here, you got a Scorpio here, and you got an uh, Aquarius here. So let's see. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Scorpios? I love you, baby, 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 baby. Ha, snapping, you know it's true. Now, you, you know, don't you? Anytime that Knight of Wands show up, you already know what time it is, Scorpio. See there? So, see there, you got them on one because they miss your charm. I say, you got them on one because they miss your charm. I say, you got them on one, Scorpio, because see, they can no longer resist the urge to purge on you. <laughs> Oh, my God, Scorpio, this is just sad to me. It's just really pathetic. Have some dignity about yourself, person, whoever you are. This is this is not you don't you're not representing the emperor properly. What's wrong with you? Maybe they can't help themselves. You know, it, it is so amazing how when you're in situations and you're in these relationships here, Scorpios, and you go through the trials and tribulations of the relationship. 
And in those trials and tribulations of the relationship, you start growing and learning things. And obviously, you're not around here because I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is the energy that's coming towards you, that's showing up, that it, it, because it is attached to you. You could have freed yourself from a, um, a person who was emotionally unavailable with this King of Cups in the reverse, and they were very, very haughty and selfish and stern and determined not to fall in love because that's what they do. It could very well be that this person is softening up for you. It could have been hard to penetrate through this person's energy here once upon a time uh, because maybe they were not emotionally available. Maybe they wasn't looking for something here. But I feel like this person is looking for you now, though. <laughs> Ah, oh, snap, snap, they done messed around and, and lost you, so you know they looking for you now, 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 now. They looking for you now. They're looking for you now. So this is somebody here who, I want to see what's up with this kingdom. Maybe this is somebody here who has changed. This is somebody here who had to grow. It's almost like somebody may be saying that you grew on them, okay? You may have grew on this person emotionally, and now this person here wants to... It's almost like <laughs> it's almost like a grown ass man acting like a little bitty ass kid here, pouting about their emotions. It's almost like they don't want to show love. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do it the right way. But I feel like they don't have a choice. Okay, that's what I feel like. I feel like somebody here they got to grow up and they ain't got no choice that they're gonna deal with Scorpio. Because I feel like spirit has it that way. I just feel like it's, it's almost like spirit is it's almost like spirit is covering you, Scorpios, from all the mess here. I feel like. I feel like if people have done you wrong, they're being judged, Scorpio, and they're all being humble, and they're going to always feel a connection towards you. That's the impact that you have. You know you do. So it's all they're going to always get you. So, I mean, sometimes you, you, you usually do have to move on, and um, don't even move on with the, with the hopes that you're going to get back with someone. You move on because that's what you need to do for yourself. That's that's what you really call really releasing it and trusting the universal outcome that's going to always be in your highest good and really everybody around. Because let's let's face it, you need the exes too. You still have to forgive them. They deserve. They they got their own life, their own journey too. It just so happened that you guys have a uh, contract. So I feel like this is somebody here who has been pouting because they refuse to admit that they are in love, okay? And as a result, they're, they're full of confusion. And, and in, their, in their denial brings them a lot of uneasiness and a lot of confusion, okay? All right, the nine of, eight of swords. Why the eight of swords here? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Somebody sitting here like their hands is tied. See there? See, somebody feels like it ain't nothing that they can do because they say at this point you don't even trust them with the seven of blades. See there? See there? <laughs> but see, cross watches a uh, hey to y'all too. But see, that, that's usually what happened. You know, Scorpio can put up with a, a lot of, look, in the six of swords, they, they realize and they done ran you off here, Scorpio. That's what it is. At least that's what their mind is telling them. And pretty much since the seven of swords, you got the eight of swords, the seven of swords, the six of swords, God dang. Maybe this person's mind is being tormented or maybe this is somebody here who is feeling like their hands is tied because of how they did things. You got the hell away from their shit. OK, you got the heck away from their mess. And now, you know, you don't ever want to see this person again. See and look at them. Page of swords. God dang. Eight of swords. Seven of swords, six of swords, and a freaking page of swords, Scorpio. Ooh, they looking ugly. <laughs> that's an inner ugly. <laughs> with all them swords, child, that's an inner ugly they dealing with. <laughs> oh, child, now they watching you with their inner ugly self. <laughs> Oh, snap, this is funny. All right, the tower in the reverse. You could be dealing with another Scorpio. <laughs> and y'all probably playing games with each other. Both of y'all are probably trying to one-up each other, but y'all probably thinking alike and stuff. <laughs> so ain't nobody winning. The, uh, the tower in the reverse. Ooh, the ace of pentacles. Ooh. I feel like somebody could be saying here that I know, I know that I am so freaking close to just falling all the way off this freaking cliff or being knocked off of this cliff, but 
Maybe if I can do this, then maybe I can save it from falling. They want to save it from completely falling down because some, at the end of the day, they are still holding out hope that they're going to once again get you back in their world. See there? They go to uh, the chariot, the uh, cancer. See there? Because like I say, this person in their head, they already know what they did. See? Five of cups. For the five of swords. <laughs> oh, snap, snap, snap. It must be Scorpio. See, see, they go to reverse tower card again. Some of y'all dealing with another Scorpio. Ooh, now you got the star card, Aquarius. This person is a trip. See there? I told, didn't I tell you they were still holding out hope? Clarify the star card is the six of coins here. Six of coins here. See, six of coins. Ooh. And that ten of coins. Ooh, 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 ooh. For somebody, y'all was dealing with somebody here. You know, isn't it amazing how our mind does us, Scorpios? Because there is a such thing as being afraid to really love. There is a such thing as really being afraid that you're gonna win. You know, there is a there is a fear. I'm just, I'm just saying you, you would think that you wouldn't, but you, you, you'd be surprised here. It's almost like this person It's almost like they see the world, but they fear it. See, they see it, but it scares them. I feel like somebody has never been so close to having everything that they could ever desire in a person closer than how they feel about you, Scorpio. And they fear it because like I said, this is somebody's wish fulfilled. I'm talking about this is this is somebody's ancestors talking to them, y'all. I'm telling you. This is somebody here who really, 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 really wants you. And unless you really tapped in, you're not gonna trust this person. You're not gonna see it from a higher perspective. You're gonna you're gonna judge them based on what they presented to you in this in this human form, okay? But when you talk about soulmate connections here, and I don't see the emperor, but you're dealing with an emperor, god dang it. So it's got to be a connection. It's almost like this person is sent into your life for you to, uh, ooh, now, nah, I, I, I ain't talking to the, uh-uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I ain't trying to start nothing with you people. I love you, okay? But I'm saying, whatever happened to that empress coming in for her emperor, that's what it's supposed to be. Just like that emperor is supposed to take care of his empress. Like I said, for some of y'all, whoever this is for, you're this person in your life for you to build your man back up, honey. That's all it is for you to love your uh, uh, upside down divine masculine back to his rightful position here. That's, that, that's, that's the energy that you're supposed to have for this person here. But like I say, it takes a certain kind because you can deal and, and please believe, you know, everybody has their own uh, description of their journey. We already decided that. But, you know, you got people here who will stick it out regardless, selflessly. I'm talking about like, like I always tell you, I grew up where, where, where uh, back in the day, you know, the, 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 the wife, she, she, she helped take care of them outside babies. <laughs> I'm just saying that now she didn't kick it with the baby mama, but, you know, she loved her husband enough that if them, now, now I ain't saying take care of them babies and he's still running back and forth. No, 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 he had the kid. The kid, you know, we married, but, you know, he do got other kids. You know what I'm saying? You, I, I, you know, I will respect that. You know, you're supposed to take care of those children like your husband kids then. But not if he just out here hoeing. No. So, you know, I feel like that's the type of relationships that really stand the, the test of time when and, and don't get me wrong. Some men going out there having outside babies and bringing them home too. you. Let's keep it real. And, and some women, for the most part, they have really labored so hard to show their man that they are going to be there even to the. Uh, humiliation of their own uh, femininity or, or their emotions, if you will, because it's not fair. I mean, goddamn, you got the whole world, but it just seems like it's never enough. And then you got somebody here who's ready to fall in love. Or maybe it's because these masculines, some, not all, some of these masculines are just need, in the need to heal. Some of these masculines just need to heal. But like I say, for whoever this divine connection is supposed to be for, like I say, you got the star card, could be an Aquarius. You got the star card twice. You got the star card, the six of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and a freaking ten of cups. You got the honey, money, honey, money. You got the honey, money, honey, money. Uh, uh. You got the money, honey, honey, money. You got the honey, money, honey, money. 
See that Scorpio? Like I say, this person look at you like this can't be real. This just cannot be. It scares somebody that they're so close to getting everything that, that, that they could have either always have always fantasized about or that they would always imagine that they could get but never believe that they could get it. And that's you for somebody. If you don't believe you all that, then just move on to the other side. Let the other Scorpios come in here and receive this. All right, three of cups. This is going on too long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm on one and I'm playing. All right, I'm sorry. Five of ones here, three of cups, five of ones here. They call that star card. See that this person, they don't want to fight you, lady. We want to love you, baby. They say they don't want to fight you, lady. I say they want to love you, baby. It's what they saying. You got the three of cups, five of ones, and the star card. They say, put your dukes down, goddamn. Put the book. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, somebody going to bear hug you. <laughs> oh, that'll probably really make you mad then, huh? You probably start screaming help, huh? <laughs> You know, because, you know, I can see somebody here know you're mad at them, but they're going to do something to piss you off even more, like try to hug you. And when they know you don't want them to touch you, it's almost like somebody has accepted how you are towards them, Scorpio, because they have earned that in your thoughts about them. But I feel like at the same time, somebody would like to prove to you that they can be the man that you want them to be and that they're not this heartless person that maybe. Maybe they were then, but I feel like somebody is trying to change it. Like, I feel like this person trying to get your attention back. I feel like this person is no longer in denial about what they feel anymore because this connection feels destined. Destined. It feels. It feels like it's supposed to be. I just feel like this person is finally feeling comfortable with the idea of being with Scorpios. All right, the Emperor. What's up with this Emperor? Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, enlightened. There you go again. See, these masculines are be becoming enlightened. The masculines are, be are awakening here. See, because there go the moon card here. See the moon in the reverse. Things are no longer... Um, so it's almost like these masculines are coming out of the witchcraft. Let's say these love spells, okay? Because we know that you're dealing with an emperor here. Uh, this could be somebody who has a lot of success in their life here, and they're under the spell of the masculines here. And especially if they're used to dealing with a lot of different people, then this is not the type of person here who does tap in spiritually. So they've been wide open to whatever that they have been entangled with, whether it's business, whether it's their thought press, whatever it is, they got their own issues here. But I also feel like Scorpios, you play a vital role in this person's life because I feel like you're the one that's going to help this person to want to stand in their power here and get out of the uh, illusions of life or what they think a man should be. Stop being womanized and stop being hustlers. And uh, uh, if you don't, you know, it's just like building something that's real. Like I say, people are ready to settle down now. We've got the six of Pentacles, ten of Pentacles and the ten of cups. With the star card, this is somebody's wish. You are. See, you got the king of cups in the reverse and clarifying the king of cups. Now you got the knight of cups, see? Like I said, they at first were probably was emotionally unavailable. From going emotionally unavailable to reaching out to you, to pursuing you emotionally is what I feel like. Because that's a lot of movement with that eight of wands. That's a lot of communication, but it's from a king of cups, so... Uh, you know that it's going to be emotional for you. I feel like it's something loving, you know, like, hey, baby, how you doing? You miss me. I miss you. <laughs> I mean, something like that, you know. <laughs> oh, I can think of some stuff, but, but, but you know, when you know, you know, okay? <laughs> ten of ones, the ten of ones really want to come out like I feel like here. I feel like this person has a lot of emotions that they need to release because I feel like somebody's always had to keep it together here. See, with the nine of pentacles here. This is somebody here probably want to know if you are still single here too, Scorpios. I feel like this bothered this person here, especially if you have walked away from this person here. Maybe they were so self-absorbed into themselves that they were not regarding you, Scorpios. Maybe you had to disconnect once again. 
But like I say, people that you meet, you're going to bring some type of awareness in their life here. This is somebody here who feels like they ran you off with all of their mess, okay? Because they got a lot of mess. Check it out. You got the Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Six of Swords, the freaking Page of Swords. Now they stalk you. But this person is in their head, but it is at the same time. Like I say, this is somebody here who is going to do something because they want you to know that they are serious about you, Scorpios. But I feel like this person is stressing out, too, because they feel like if you had to leave, they mess. If they ran you off there, you probably going to go get that Scorpio love up. <laughs> Somebody else. This could be you out here in the Knight of Wands. God dang it. After you got tired of they mess. All right. What's up this Knight of Wands? Knight of Wands is the Nine of Wands. So they act out because they block love because... So, so they're in the Knight of Wands because, see, so like I said, this was a player, but they don't want to be no player no more. Or they had player tendencies. You know what I'm saying? Non-committal. Blocking. Only, only are going to allow you to get so close to them. Why they just totally uh, drain you, but they're not giving anything. This Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands with the Nine of Wands is, was looking for pleasure. With the Seven of Cups in the reverse here, because this person was not clear about what they wanted. See, because this person was uh, karmic and toxic here with this king of wands in the reverse. This person was uh, listening to their ego, their pride, their arrogance. Somebody, uh, somebody's realizing that their arrogance ran you away, okay? And that's what I see. But please believe when I tell you, honey. Please believe when I tell you for whoever this is for, this person feels like you everything to them. They just never thought that they would ever meet anybody like you. For some reason, I'm just getting this. Somebody just in awe. You, you really made a very, very lasting impression on this person on an emotional level. This is why this person fought so hard, because this person knew that if they fell in love with you, that they was going to give up all of this Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups shit, and they probably, and, and, not, and I feel like this person probably wants you over everybody, which they do, what I see. But I feel like at the time they had to decide because they need to go through their own uh, healing here because you do got the star card here. And I feel like this person, they're stressed out because they don't want to fight with you. This person don't want you to fuss at them. They don't want you to fight with them. I feel like this person, I feel like this person it will risk talking to you even if you argue with them just to get you to talk to them, especially if you ain't talking to somebody. But like I say, this person wants the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups with you, Scorpios. You are this person's wish fulfilled, and they would love to heal things between the two of you if you let them. For some of y'all, it's your baby daddy with the emperor, because you notice the emperors ain't even on here. I don't even see no feminine energy. I just know that this person is attached to you because it's all about your person, whoever they are, but they are in love with you, and they want to show you that they are two Scorpios. Sorry that it took so long. It is still your mini. But anyway, happy birthday to you, Scorpios. Thank you guys so, for your support. Don't come for me because I've been drinking and I've been doing all kinds of things that grown folks do, especially in Scorpio season when it's their birthday, okay? I love you too, honey. And I want to hear about your fun time too. You should be living your best life. You should. After all, you do have the three of cups here. You got the three of cups here. This is merry energy. This is high vibrational energy here. All right, Scorpio, I'll talk to you on the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.